First contact, the latest U.S. robot explorer sent to Mars rocked, rolled and bounced as planned to a safe landing today on the Red Planet. And later tonight, the first color panorama pictures direct from the scene. It's the first U.S. mission to Mars in 21 years and the first since recent evidence suggesting primitive microscopic life may once have existed there and maybe still does. Manuel Gallegas has the latest chapter in The Martian Chronicles. After seven months and 300 million miles in space, it was a beautiful day for a landing, extremely cold and clear on Mars, as Pathfinder blazed into the atmosphere at 16,000 miles an hour. Parachute should now be deployed. Oh, yeah. Then the hard part began, in Pasadena Mission Control and in space. An explosive inflation of airbags designed to cushion Pathfinder's high-risk, high-speed landing, bouncing it like a super ball up to 10 stories high. It survived. The signal is barely visible. It's a very good sign, everybody. And for the first time in 21 years, America is back on Mars. Gerald Soffin was NASA's project manager on that last Mars mission, Viking, in 1976. The nation ought to be proud. What a day to do it on, the 4th of July. Everything is just perfect. A picture-perfect landing, and then more good news. We have confirmed, we have confirmed that the spacecraft is now completed pedal deployment. Stay tuned for more excitement from Mars Pathfinder. As planned, the Pathfinder opened its pedals to reveal the heart of the mission. The Sojourner, a microwave oven-sized rover with six-wheel drive, a solar-powered geology lab on wheels, complete with lasers and a rock-sniffing X-ray spectrometer and cameras. And four hours after landing, the Pathfinder officially called home. We are on the surface of Mars, and we have received our first telemetry from the spacecraft. This is way beyond our expectations. When it starts roving later tonight, Sojourner will be taking man's first remote control steps on the surface of the planet where NASA thinks life is most likely to have existed, if it did anywhere else. Mission controllers say the Sojourner could send data back to Earth for months, maybe even a year. NASA plans to send a fleet of these low-cost, unmanned explorers to Mars over the next decade. Manuel Gallegas, CBS News, Pasadena. A footnote, the original Viking mission to Mars a generation ago cost two to three billion dollars. Today's project came in at about 150 million dollars. Under NASA's new marching orders, make it faster, better, cheaper.